Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for coming. Every Wednesday I do wine and design where I design on my computer or talk about design and sip on some wine because name a better combo it's the best um i'm actually sipping an older wine that i haven't finished it's the moon uh seven red blend i believe i know they have it at trader joe's um i just poured myself a little bit of that and um it's really good but we're getting into the warmer weather so i feel like i need to kind of get rid of the red wines and introduce more white wines so let me know if you guys have any any recommendations because I've been drinking red wines for a while now. So anyway, um, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to convert Adobe XD uh, website into Divi. I know I've made a lot of videos like this, but I wanna show you from the very beginning stages of like setting up the Divi account on my WordPress dashboard and just kind of taking you more through the exact process, how I do this for clients and um, I'm gonna be making it on my own hosting account and then transferring it to hers later. So I'm gonna show you everything I do when I'm designing and developing a site for my client. Now this client, I already designed the whole site on Adobe XD and I tell my client that once this is approved and once I start developing, um, I don't really accept edits after that unless it's like little things like colors or uh, more of the aesthetic sides of things. But if it's a whole layout um, change, then I will usually have to charge a little bit extra just because um, it goes into a lot of different, um, it basically takes a lot more time. So I just wanted to add that in there because I think it's important to remember that your time is money and you shouldn't just work for free because um, recreating pages after it's approved is a bit stressful and trust me, I've been there. So anyway guys, um, that's enough talking. So let's hop on over to my screen recording and I'll walk you guys through exactly what I'm doing when I'm developing this website. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so I first am going to Elegant Themes to download the Divi theme so I can upload it on the WordPress dashboard. So um, I'm just going to show you kind of like the very beginning of what I do. I upload it under themes and um, you don't need to do the Divi Builder anymore. That comes with the theme now. So it's kind of nice they got rid of that step. Um, so now I'm going into theme options where I'm going to insert global footer code. You can find this through um, CSS global, not footer, global font code. So you can set the font you want for your H1, H2, body, everything. So it just saves you time. And then when the client has the site, they don't have to worry about getting the text right. That saves it for you across the whole site. So now that looks good. And I am going to dive into creating the footer, which you'll see me do in a second. Um, you go to Divi Theme Builder and um, add a global footer. So the global footer will allow you to have a footer on every single page without you having to automatic or without you having to manually put it on every page. This makes it appear um, with no extra work involved. And then if you want to get rid of that footer on one page, there's a way to do that under a specific page. You can hit blank page under the settings. Um, so just a little tip for you there. But yeah, I'm just making, I'm referencing the Adobe XD file that she approved and getting that to look exactly like uh, the de original design that I made her. So that is what I'm doing here. Okay. 
Okay, so once you save that, it'll be on every single page that you make for this website. So now I'm adding the logo for the main menu bar. And um, I'm gonna go into the theme options and just make that logo a little bit bigger, make sure all the colors look right, the text size, everything. And yeah, that's under theme customizer, not theme builder. And it's always good to have the website open on another tab so you can just quickly reference, make sure the changes you are doing look correct. Um, so now I'm going into creating the home page, and we talked about making the So we talked about making the first header image a video instead. So I'm going to find a video through Pexels. They have a lot of really free, really cool free stock footage. So I found this one and usually I would upload this on a different platform and just use the link for the video, but I'm uploading it onto her site just for now to get it on there. And I ended up doing this part wrong. So I'm just gonna go through and fix it. Okay, so I'm now building this text section, but one of the things I really want to show you guys on this video is how to embed images, like elements in the background of your website, because I know that's something that seems like Divi's limited with, but it's actually not, and I've been really playing around with this more. Um, so we want to get these leaves behind the text of the section so that when you're scrolling, it just looks like part of the page. So you go under transform under image settings and just bring it to exactly where you want. But you're going to want to make sure that you add this code right here um, for the text so that the text always stays above it. And then this overflow setting, which I'll add in a second, is really important for the site not getting kind of wonky, if that makes sense. Um, it makes it so the overflow of the leaf doesn't make the site kind of expand to show that overflow, if that makes sense. So um, part of the leaf will just be cut off exactly how the design looked originally. And um, I was kind of just playing around right here because this part is still a little bit new to me, but um, I just wanted to make sure I'm doing it correct so that I can do it throughout the rest of the site. So I added the overflow setting and um, one thing I didn't do, which I'll fix in a second, is make the leaf width smaller and just use the transform settings to make the leaf bigger. And that'll make it so that section doesn't look super tall like it is right now. So you'll see I fixed that in a second and that literally fixes all my problems. And now I'm excited to add more elements on all the different site designs.
guys, I'm just fixing little errors I made here, but this is definitely not the final site by any means, but I just wanted to show you from the very beginning kind of the steps I take and then how to get those elements behind designs um, throughout the page. So this is the start of this website build. I still have my whole glass. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's Wine and Design episode. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if you have questions. Um, I cannot wait to keep filming some more of these. And I've written down all of the suggestions you guys have given me. So I have a lot coming up very soon. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it so much if you support my channel and subscribe to my channel and um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video.